Welcome back. In this video, we're going to start section two. We're going to cover Splunk terminology in this section. So this is going to be an important foundation for the rest of the course because many of the terms that we cover are going to be relevant to what we're going to be discussing later. So in this video, we're going to look at key Splunk definitions as well as common terminology that's used when working with Splunk or the Splunk user interface. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is the idea of the Splunk Splexicon. This is basically the glossary of terminology that Splunk makes available in their documentation and is a great way to look up an unfamiliar term or get some more information about a concept that gets brought up when you're talking to someone about Splunk. The way you get to that is just to go to docs.splunk.com slash Splexicon or you could just search for that online and it should be one of the first results. And basically, this will list through everything that is a Splunk term. So one of the first things we're going to cover is the concept of an event. So I'll just show you. We click on event, and we will get the definition for that. So keep the Splexicon in your back pocket for any time you need to look up a Splunk definition. So the terms that we're going to focus on in this video are going to be events, search, report, dashboard, SPL, source type, index, field extractions, and lookup tables. So this is going to commonly revolve around using the Splunk UI and also the search interface. 